Hey guys, what's up? It's the Serial Guy here, and today we're going to be making a part two to the series I made, or the video I made earlier about making a modded server. So I've got two other types of servers I want to show you guys. It's uh, snapshot servers and bucket servers. Uh, bucket servers are all the popular servers, like you see Mineplex or Hypixel server. All those servers, they run bucket. And uh, you can just download tons of plugins for those. Uh, the two websites are here, Mojang.com. They always just have their snapshot release here. So 32D, you can download that. Think right here, yeah. And Bucket, you can just download any of these jars. There's so many, I don't understand why. But they're there, and there's a reason for it. So those two websites are nice. All you have to do is put it with your... Uh, server folder here you can put these in if you want just rename it server and just run it with the, these parameters you don't have to run it by 5 and 2 if you don't have that much memory on your computer you can tell how much memory you have if you go to your computer here it tells you like I have 12 gigabytes available so I just run it like this it doesn't really matter and you can just launch it Server homies, yeah. And that should just work. I'll just let this load for a second. Oh yeah, and you always have to agree to the EULA here. Just go go into here, change this, true. Save and launch it again. So that's two things I wanted to go over. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is port forwarding since everyone seems to think I forgot about it I didn't I chose not to include it but whatever I'm gonna just type in ipconfig once you get to the CMD here you can either hit Windows run CMD or you can just search C, uh, CMD and that's the command prompt all you have to do I'll do it more and more time is type in ipconfig ipconfig and it tells you all this stuff nice nice stuff but we're only interested about two things here it's uh, your default gateway and ipv4 address ipv6 i don't know about this look at that look at that oh well and uh... so remember these numbers i've already memorized these numbers but the first one we're going to use is the default gateway you're going to go to your browser and search this. Let's search it. 192.168.0.1. Mine's that. A lot of yours is going to be that. And stuff like that. So once you get here, you're going to log in. Some websites will have you log in instantly. Like it'll make you log in before you even get to the website. Or stuff like that. And, uh,. For the router I have, the password is user and user. It can be admin, 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 password, password, password. Lots of things like that. Just try tons of combinations, user, password, whatever, and you can log in. Uh, if, it, if that was changed, then you're kind of screwed if you don't remember it or don't have anyone that knows about it. So now you're going to want to find your port forwarding. Uh, it's either going to be under advanced or firewall most likely you'll have to search around it for yours for for me it's under advanced and it's called forwarding not called not port forwarding so I'm going to click on that and I already have two ports open here this is for minecraft and I was trying to build an unturned server that's not important in what you do I create IPv4 you're gonna oh fail I don't know what I clicked okay you're going on to just type in the IP address that you found right here on the left side the IPv4 address type that in and what you're going to do is 25565 for all of these 25565 25565 565 25565 you want TCP you want that you can name it whatever you want and turn it enabled uh, if I hit apply it's not going to let me because I already have a port open there we just hit apply see error so that's one th another thing I just wanted to show you guys so you could actually uh, 
have people connect to your server. If you want to find your IP address, you can just search what is my IP address. Uh, Google will most likely tell you it. I don't want to hit enter or show you guys my IP address because apparently people can hack you. I don't understand how, but whatever. Search that. There are, there's a nice website called What Is My IP, or that's not what it's called. It's called actually it is called What Is My IP dot com. That's funny. You can click that. Nope, you're not seeing that. <laughs> Just kidding. It'll tell you the IP address. It's most likely going to be something like 25.25.35.106. It's just going to be a four different numbers. If it's a bunch of weird numbers or letters, there's something wrong. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, and the last thing I wanted to show you guys is server optimization because I found some people like to run their servers with with more or less or just different so this is the one that I found I don't understand what all this stuff does but I admit, I found that I picked it out of the comments all you have to do is this number here if you want to use a ton of ton of memory just change this number and make these numbers higher. This number, you can make this higher. Let's see how high I can actually run mine. This is going to be kind of cool. Let's go 2 by 6 by t and 2. Let's launch. And it gives you an, everything it tells you. Let's see if this actually works. And I'm going to see how high I can make it go. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, it worked. That's cool. Let's see how high I can go. How high can I go? This is—it's not gonna let me do this. But I don't care. Let's just see. Work, please. That would be kind of awesome. Yeah, it just runs it with insane amounts of memory. I I ran my Minecraft with insane memory. It was like 6,000 megabits or bytes or something available. And it was still getting me 0 FPS. But I don't really care about that. And there's my phone. That's cool. Well, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, just give a like, comment share it, uh, just open five different tabs and watch this video over and over again. That'd be awesome. And see you all later. And I'll give you guys more tutorials soon.